Today we are going to be talking about divots and how to repair them. In order to figure out what process you need to take, first you need to identify what kind of divot you've taken. Uh, there's two different types. You can either take a nice whole piece of turf in the shape of a dollar bill, as some might say, or you can take one of these crumbly, pieced up divots. Um, so depending on which type you have, you're gonna take a different procedure. With a whole divot, you can actually go ahead and place it right back down on top of the uh, original mark where the club had uh, taken out the turf. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that down there. We're gonna kind of flatten it out, make sure that it's nice and level, just in case if another ball comes and rolls up on top of it, they're not gonna have a poor lie. Now, obviously, if your divot is crumbled, you're not gonna be able to repeat that process on this divot here. So what we're going to do is actually use divot mix that's gonna be provided to you by your golf course. Most of the time, you'll find it here in your golf cart. Uh, it can come in a bottle where you can pour it, or sometimes you have a box with a scoop here, and you go ahead and scoop it out. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna pour it in, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have enough to where it's actually level with the ground. Uh, you don't want it to be down below the surface, that way if a ball comes and rolls through, they're not gonna have a poor lie below the surface and not be able to hit their shot. So we'll go ahead and pour a little more on there, smoothing it out, make sure it's nice and level, and we're good to go. So that's really it, guys, that's the process. Very simple stuff. Always make sure you're repairing your divots. Our greenskeepers, they do such a great job of making sure our courses are beautiful, and we wanna also do our part.